Welcome back. Now that we have our embed code, all we need to do is to grab this embed code and place it any place where we need to put HTML code for the button to show. So, for example, what we'll do is we will take this entire piece of code, we will copy it, and then we'll go to a site where we need HTML code. For example, we can go to our WordPress site. And when we get to that site, we can choose to add a new post. We will not use the visual editor, we'll use the text editor. We can then center the code. When we do that, we can then place our code. We can then put a back code in here. Once that code has been added, we can then click the publish button. Once we can verify that our post has been published, we can then click the view post button. And you will see now that our button is now inside of our post, and that means that someone can actually click this button. And when they do that, they'll actually have the opportunity to pay in Bitcoin. We can also place that button on any HTML sales page. All we need to do is to figure out where our button actually goes. And what we'll want to do is we'll want to make sure that we add it where the code actually goes. So we will actually replace this code by cutting and pasting it, allowing it to be inside of the area. We will then click inside of our Dreamweaver and then we'll see the Buy Now link. When we upload this document to our server, we're actually going to see the button and not the text link. And you'll see our button code there when it is clicked will actually give our buyer the opportunity to purchase from us in Bitcoin. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, in this video, we are going to start by creating a product inside of Rocketer. So to do that, we're going to go to the products link. And then we're going to click add a product. Now, once we come to the add a product screen, we can add a product in several different ways. We can do a file download. We can add a serial or a code or we can add in a service where we will have to deliver an email for the customer to actually get what it is that we have. Now, if you want to deliver people to a page where they're going to actually get everything that you have to offer them, you're going to actually deliver them using the email. You can actually do that easily through the service button. But if you want to give them a download also, as well as a URL, you are going to be able to give them the download in the actual purchase process and then send them an email subsequently with their download link. So let's start by clicking the file download button. And what we're going to do now is we're going to give our product a title and we're going to give it a description and then we're going to give our product an image by uploading it using the choose file button. Once you have your product image in place, you can then click Next. Now the next tab that Rocketer is going to bring you to is going to be the Settings tab. And we are delivering a file, so what we're going to do is we're going to click Choose File, and we can actually upload any kind of document type. Typically we're talking about a PDF or a zip file. So let's go ahead and upload a PDF. We can actually limit the number of times that this product can be purchased, or we can actually let it be sold an unlimited number of times. We can limit downloads to a particular purchaser's IP. We can also watermark the PDF with the purchaser's IP and email address. That is one of the advantages of using the PDF with the system. Now, once again, if you have to use and deliver a URL, we're going to be able to do that in section four. What we're going to do now is we're then going to click Next. We are now going to set our price. We can use a fixed price or we can decide to allow our buyers to pay what they want to pay. But if we want to be more traditional, we can use the pricing alternative. And so what we're going to do is we're going to write in our price. We're going to accept Bitcoin. 
And then we can actually use a couple of features here and Rocketer will allow us to have everyone to be able to purchase with the exception of certain limitations. So we can limit people by our global blacklist and anyone buying from a proxy, which typically indicates some kind of lack of trust, or we can allow all buyers to purchase. The most conservative way to allow people to purchase would be to not accept purchases from people on a global blacklist and proxies. So in this particular case, we're gonna use the most conservative method, and then we're going to click next. Now you're going to notice that your buyer is going to have an email sent to them by Rocketer. So if you want to have your buyer sent to a certain URL, you are going to write that URL inside of this email. So for example, you'll notice that they're going to get a link to their file URL. They're going to get a link to the product title. We can actually put in a URL to this email. Now, one thing that we can determine at this point is whether or not we're going to have affiliates to be allowed to promote our product. And what we're going to do is we're going to click this box to say yes. We're going to give our affiliates a percentage. And once we've done that, we can then click add product. And once we've done that, our product is ready to go to the next step for placing onto our website. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, in this video, we are going to start by creating a product inside of Rocketer. So to do that, we're going to go to the products link, and then we're going to click add a product. Now, once we come to the add a product screen, we can add a product in several different ways. We can do a file download, we can add a serial or a code, or we can add in a service where we will have to deliver an email for the customer to actually get what it is that we have. Now, if you want to deliver people to a page where they're going to actually get everything that you have to offer them, you're going to actually deliver them using the email. You can actually do that easily through the service button. But if you want to give them a download also, as well as a URL, you are going to be able to give them the download in the actual purchase process and then send them an email subsequently with their download link. So let's start by clicking the file download button. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna give our product a title and we're going to give it a description and then we're going to give our product an image by uploading it using the choose file button. Once you have your product image in place, you can then click next. Now the next tab that Rocketer is going to bring you to is going to be the settings tab. And we are delivering a file. So what we're going to do is we're going to click choose file and we can actually upload any kind of document type. Typically we're talking about a PDF or a zip file. So let's go ahead and upload a PDF. We can actually limit the number of times that this product can be purchased, or we can actually let it be sold an unlimited number of times. We can limit downloads to a particular purchaser's IP. We can also watermark the PDF with the purchaser's IP and email address. That is one of the advantages of using the PDF with the system. Now, once again, if you have to use and deliver a URL, we're going to be able to do that in section four. What we're going to do now is we're then going to click next. We are now going to set our price. We can use a fixed price or we can decide to allow our buyers to pay what they want to pay. But if we want to be more traditional, we can use the pricing alternative. And so what we're going to do is we're going to write in our price. We're going to accept Bitcoin. And then we can actually use a couple of features here and Rocketer will allow us to have everyone to be able to purchase with the exception of certain limitations. So we can limit people by our global blacklist and anyone buying from a proxy, which typically indicates some kind of lack of trust, or we can allow all buyers to purchase. The most conservative way to allow people to purchase would be to not accept purchases from people on a global blacklist and proxies. So in this particular case, we're gonna use the most conservative method and then we're going to click next. 
Now you're going to notice that your buyer is going to have an email sent to them by Rocketer. So if you want to have your buyer sent to a certain URL, you are going to write that URL inside of this email. So for example, you'll notice that they're going to get a link to their file URL. They're going to get a link to the product title. We can actually put in a URL to this email. Now, one thing that we can determine at this point is whether or not we're going to have affiliates to be allowed to promote our product. And what we're going to do is we're going to click this box to say yes. We're going to give our affiliates a percentage. And once we've done that, we can then click add product. And once we've done that, our product is ready to go to the next step for placing onto our website. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Hello and welcome. What we are now going to do is we are now going to generate a button for the product that we just created in Rocketer. So to do that, we're going to go to the product embed generator, and then we're going to choose our product from the download menu. We're going to choose what that button text is going to say. So for example, if we want to say download now, we can do that. If we want to change the color, we can do that and we can use the color picker here. And then when the code generator saves, we'll have our new code there. And then the actual embed code will be here. So for example, if we actually want to widen this button, we can actually do that. You'll see now that the button widens, we can widen it some more. And so now our button is now ready for us to place on our website. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now that we have our embed code, all we need to do is to grab this embed code and place it any place where we need to put HTML code for the button to show. So for example, what we'll do is we will take this entire piece of code, we will copy it, and then we'll go to a site where we need HTML code. For example, we can go to our WordPress site. And when we get to that site, we can choose to add a new post. We will not use the visual editor, we'll use the text editor. We can then center the code. When we do that, we can then place our code we can then put a back code in here. Once that code has been added, we can then click the publish button. Once we can verify that our post has been published, we can then click the view post button. And you will see now that our button is now inside of our post. And that means that someone can actually click this button. And when they do that, they'll actually have the opportunity to pay in Bitcoin. We can also place that button on any HTML sales page. All we need to do is to figure out where our button actually goes. And what we'll want to do is we'll want to make sure that we add it where the code actually goes. So we will actually replace this code by cutting and pasting it allowing it to be inside of the area. We will then click inside of our Dreamweaver and then we'll see the buy now link. When we upload this document to our server, we're actually going to see the button and not the text link. And you'll see our button code there when it is clicked, we'll actually give our buyer the opportunity to purchase from us in Bitcoin. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, it's quite possible that you will want affiliates to actually market your product on their behalf. So in order to do that, you'll need to have those individuals have their own Rocketer account, and then you're going to give them a specific link. And to find that link, you're gonna go inside all products, this is where you'll see all of your products. You are going to take this link, right click it, click the copy list address, and that is the link that you will be giving to your affiliates. But once that affiliate is inside of their account, they will go to the products area. 
you'll want to give them the product ID. Then they will click register to be an affiliate. Rocketer will tell them that they have successfully registered to be an affiliate. You'll give them the product price, their affiliate percentage, and then they will have a page that will actually keep track of their sales as they generate them. Now, one thing that you will want to do is you will want to give them a video with the process of opening up an account and finding this link. You want to provide that link to them so that it would be easy for them to actually apply and then to begin to make sales. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, in this video, we are going to give our client a coupon for the product that we have created where they're going to be paying with Bitcoin. And so in order to do that, you are going to go to this section of the site on the left side of the menu and click the link that says coupons. You're then going to click add a coupon. Once you click add a coupon, you're going to see that you have a menu and you can choose to do this with all products or you can choose to do it with just one. And so to find yours, what you can do is you can just start by typing in. And you'll see there that when we type in BI, we have our product name. We can decide that we can only do coupons with one payment method. So for example, in this particular case, we're only taking Bitcoin. So we're going to click Bitcoin there. We're going to then write in a coupon code. So we're going to write that in right now. And then we can decide what kind of coupon we want. We can do a percentage off or an amount off. We're going to go ahead and do a percentage off here. And then we're going to set the expiration date. Now we can set a specific number of uses. If we want it to be unlimited, we're going to leave this as negative one, which is a little counterintuitive, but that is what we would do for unlimited coupons. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click add coupon. So the coupon that we want to give our client is going to be the name sell digital, just as we see it there. So when our customer actually goes to hit our pay button, they're going to click it. They're going to then click buy now. And then they're going to be shown a place where they can put their coupon code. We're going to go ahead and place our coupon code in there. Actually, they're going to click validate. They're going to get 50% off. And then they're going to be able to click the buy now button and buy with Bitcoin. Welcome back. Now in this video, we are actually going to be able to start doing email marketing with our client base and all of the customers that purchase through our Rocketer link. So in order to do that, we are going to go to this marketing link. And then we're going to click this link that says new marketing email. When we do that, we're actually going to come to a specific page and we can actually select the buyers that we like to email. So for example, we can determine that we want to email all buyers or all buyers that did not go through with the purchase. We can write in a subject for our email. And then we can add in additional content for our message. We can add in our text. We can edit using any of the menu items that we have here. And then we can then hit send. Now, one thing that you want to be aware of is that Rocketer will allow you to email these contacts every 72 hours. So as long as you keep that in mind, you'll be able to keep track of what's happening with those who have purchased your product and then be able to offer them even more value. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, it's quite possible that you could have someone that you do not want to purchase your product. If that's the case, you can actually create your own blacklist. And to do that, you're just going to go to this left side menu. And there are three ways for you to add someone to the blacklist. You can add them by email, by IP, or you can blacklist an entire country.
Now, the other thing about that is that anytime you have a chargeback, someone purchases your product, you can actually have that person add it to your blacklist automatically and Rocketer will do that for you. Whenever you add someone, you can actually put a reason as to why you want them blacklisted. So in this particular case, if you want to put the IP address, you'll place that in this area, email address, or even the two letter country code, which Rocketer will give you a hint for. You want to write in the reason and then click add. Now there could be a case where you discover that this person does not belong on the blacklist. If that is the case, you're just going to go to view your blacklist and then you're going to click delete. We'll take that person off of your blacklist. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.